In this video, I'm going to show you how to add and edit effects and to keyframe them in the Shotcut Video Editor in 2021. So let's get started. I'm in the Editing tab up here, and I have this video of a couple of butterflies flying around. Let's fast forward, find a good spot. I'm going to hit N. I'm going to fast forward a little bit there. Hit O for Out. And we're going to take this, and we're going to drag it to the timeline down here and put it at the beginning. And then we're going to go to the FX tab here. Shortcut is nice and easy to uh, add effects. And you'll see you have this filters tab. But you know, if this isn't open, you know, if this is gone, say this window's gone, you just go up here to this um, ribbon up here. And you can click filters, and there it is again. The window's right there. So we're going to click the clip to highlight it. We're going to click the little plus button here. And we can go to the video tab. You've got favorites, video, audio, time, remapping. I'm going to have to do a video on that because I'm excited about that being there. I love that effect. So I'm in the video tab, and I'm going to just find an effect that I think is keyframable. Let's try brightness. See, brightness is keyframable because if it has this little hourglass icon here, it means you can keyframe the effect, which is outstanding. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. But first... Simply affect the effect by dragging the, the sliders. You see how the clip's getting brighter now? Now it's getting dimmer. Well, if I turn on keyframing, you can see this little window here just popped up. And if the window didn't pop up, up here in the ribbon, you have keyframes. You can click that and it would pop right up. So now, if I move the playhead here, for instance, and I drag the slider somewhere else, you can see a keyframe is automatically added right there. If I put it here, and I can also I can also click to add a keyframe right here, and I could take this and I could drag it. That and you see, look at the slider here. Watch this as I drag this point; it's going up and down as I drag it because I'm creating a keyframe. And all of these points are going to remember the point, you know, the uh, percentage that the slider is at for the level as it plays through the video. It's going to change from brighter to darker, back to brighter again. Now it's getting dark, and now it's going to get really bright. And in this little keyframe tab here, you can click these points. You can drag them anywhere you want. You can lower it, make it higher, drag it left, right, earlier, and further ahead in the video, if that's what you want to do. You can right-click a point, and you can click, uh, one second, let me get on it. You can click remove, so that deletes the keyframe. You can click keyframe type. I don't know what hold does actually. I never. Okay, so hold will hold the keyframe right there. Then it will abruptly change when it gets to the next one. And you could also do smooth, which should make it a nice smooth transition from the keyframe to the um, the other frames ahead of it and before it. So you have those options that you can mess with there. And you can add keyframes to numerous effects. Uh, some of them don't allow you to. Like, let's look at Choppy. Uh, Choppy has the keyframeable parameter as well. If this little hourglass is not visible, then you can't keyframe it. But this one we can keyframe. So let's click it right there. And let's move the uh, timeline there. And then just add a keyframe. And let's make it Choppy, whatever that's going to do. Let's watch and see. Oh, it just literally makes the video Choppy. I see, like it's playing on an old slow computer or something like that. That's somewhat useless, but it's uh, there. So if you don't want the effect there, just click the little minus button. So click the effect, click minus, and now the effect is gone. Um, and we can add another one here. So let's do let's do levels. You see these right here, the value histogram, you know, top left and such. These are not keyframable. But the rest of these are, and if you if you click the little hourglass icon to highlight it, then you can keyframe uh, the rest of these effects here. And I can again add more. I can bring that over here. I can bring my uh, playhead here. Add another one. Bring this down. You know, you you get the picture of how you can keyframe the effects. It added this histogram here. That's what that effect did. I don't like that one either, so let's get rid of it. But let's go back to the editing tab for a minute here. Let's copy this clip. Let's uh, go over here. We can paste it in. So now we have the same clip. 
Let's go to the effects tab again, FX right there. And for the second clip, let's just delete the brightness effect. So here's the first clip, the one that we edited. We keyframed the brightness filter on. And here's the other one without it. Now let's go back to the first clip and let's make this brightness even brighter. Let's just make it so it's obviously, you know, different. And I want to try this. Uh, it has this little, um, this little copy and paste thing here. So you can click the filter and you can copy it. And I should be able to paste it right to this clip if I click this. And there it is. See that? So you can copy and paste filters to other clips. Now this second clip is going to do the same thing as the first one. It, now it's, 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 it's brighter. Now it's getting a little bit darker just like the first one. And uh, you know, just to be really like really sure of this, let's just delete the effects of both of these clips. Let's go to the first one. Let's add another effect. Let's get one that's like really, um, uh, let me see, one that would really stand out. You, you, you can see there's a, just a ton of effects here. So this one's going to stand out big time. So let's just add some keyframes to this. So that'll be fun actually to play with. Posterize, whatever you call it. And we can go here. All right, well, so this is going to be a standout effect. We just keyframe this. See that? And now I'm going to go here, and I'm going to copy this one, and I'm going to go to the second clip, click it, and I'm going to paste it into the second clip. And now the second clip is going to do the same exact thing as the first one because it now has the effect. You can see it doing it right now. See that? See, that's the great thing. You can very easily copy and paste effects with shortcut and anyway this is the whole tutorial um please like share and subscribe i'm trying to restart my youtube channel after a long hiatus i love doing tutorials particularly on video editing it's what i really enjoy doing for a very long time ever since i was in high school um working with final cut pro in fact when it first came out um in 1999 or so is when i started so like, share, and subscribe. Um, I'm going to be making more videos just like this. If you have any questions, comment. I will do my best to answer your questions. All right? And thanks for watching.